What's up guys, I'm DC and welcome back to some more LA Noir. Uh, last time we started off the case called the driver's seat, I made some silly jokes about it, which weren't actually that funny, but they were funny to me because my sense of humor is pretty crappy. Uh, and in this episode we're going to continue with it and we are walking the wrong way and I know I'm walking the wrong way because I wanted to walk this way because I can. And I'm going to walk through here and then I'm going to walk back. And that is the exact reason why I did that. Uh, so, yeah, last... Oh, my God. Walk faster. There we go. Oh, no. It was only temporary. Let's climb over this fence. Get in this awful, hideous car. That looks disgusting. Anyways, now we have to drive to the Adrian Black residence. Let's go. Hit the police car. Oh. 620 Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple Oops. blocks north of Central Station. So, what do we tell the wife? Play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. No. I refuse to answer it. Could be a car theft gone wrong. It's a long drive. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. But why leave the car? Well, obviously someone got a little heavy hand. It's the wrong way around. Well, how so, genius? Sorry, I'm just listening to the subtitles again. I don't know why. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm actually quite tired. Uh, but I needed to record some videos. So I wanted to record LA Noir. I didn't want to record anything else. I was like, yeah, I'll sit down and record LA Noir. But I'm still tired. Plus, this is a very difficult. Uh, game to actually commentate over because it's difficult to keep concentration when they're like doing the cases. Uh, sometimes, like, I know a lot of people have just sat there for like a bit and just gone, oh, if I do this, oh, what if I do that, over and then they the haven't canal. really done anything. And then oh, they kill people and I've just driven past the friggin. Thing. Um, oh, oh, no. You stupid game! Oh, you got it. He's got his head under there. Okay, you know what? I don't care about the rest of the dialogue. Private property. Uh, well, private property can go do something to themselves. Was that a ladder? That was a ladder. That's not a ladder. Dang it! I thought it was a ladder, so I could climb up. Ah, oh, this is gonna take forever. I just need to steal some random car. Department of Employment. I could do with one of those. You, give me your car. Give me your car. How dare you? Alright, fine. I'll just steal someone's car from around here. Give me your car. Debate. Do I leave my partner here or do I take him with me? I'm going to leave him here. He just got in the way. What an idiot. What an idiot. Can't do anything about stupid. Whoa, stupid people! If we could do something about stupid people, like if there was a society for stupid, well, not a society for stupid. Ah, there, it just did it there. Look, the car's swerving. I'm not moving the control stick. See, proves that it's broken. Um, taxi. Not good. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, like we need to have another society for really stupid people. Like. Firstly, I don't want to offend anyone. Secondly, I'm getting us off Malcolm in the Middle, which was a great show. But it was around the minute. You know, it is. I know I was depressed for a little bit. Uh, but. Not a care in the world. There's an episode where, like, Dewey and Hal make this, uh. sort of perfect civilization. And. Uh, everyone is born smart, and stupid people are ground up for food. This thing did not turn well. But yeah, that's just uh, something I felt I would. Well, I just crashed into a police car. How sensible of me. Are we there yet? No. 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 Are we there yet? Jesus Christ. Are we Are we there yet? 
Where are they at? Yeah, we're here now. Okay, good. They look like our partner randomly appeared. Without his hat! Because we ran him over and he apparently lost his hat. And there's a frame drop. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder for cry on stuff. Shall we? Let's go talk to her. Just a minute. Hurry up, stupid woman. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Let's go into her house. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood injured? on it. Injured? Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Injured? Does the name Insta-Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We, we've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window. At the side of the house. I'd like Injured? You to stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. He's friggin' dead! I'm gonna take a look around. When you're ready, we're gonna have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Let's check the He's got out. to be friggin' dead. The amount of blood he lost. He cannot be in. You are a crappy detect. Whatever. Uh, right. So we have to go and inspect some photos. These apparently aren't the photos that we have to inspect. Where are these bloody photos? Are they in here? Oh, there's a newspaper there. I should probably read that. Minute. I've lost count of how long we've been going in. Whoa, something just flashed. What's that vibrated? It's a packet of matches from Cavanaugh. So who brought this home? I did. Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Have a good look around. Right, so that's the wrong thing that we picked up. Well, not in order. We didn't pick it up in order. Um, what we pick up the newspaper. Or we'll use the telephone, which we have to use in a bit. Ah! This is the photo. Right, there's a glasses case. This must be Adrian's. We open it. Dun -dun -dun! No glasses. Stencil. So the glasses are a match. Congratulations, that was difficult to figure out. Right, now on this. To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. He's having an affair with a woman named Nicole. My face is itchy. That has nothing to do with... Why did it just vibrate again? Oh. That's why. Seattle, wow. Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. And the suitcase is also missing. Apparently. And you're not going to need to inspect that. Okay. Unless he saw it, did it in the subtitles. I wasn't actually paying attention. Now, if we go into her room, we inspect the photo of her. Separate bedrooms. Separate pictures. What gives here? They are secretly not in love. It's all a sham. The marriage is a sham. Like... Um... I don't know what I like actually. What would the the the, 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 the sham of a marriage be? Like? I don't know. Uh, next thing we need to inspect is uh, two pamphlets for insta heat in the kitchen. Spoilers. No, oh, that's Kavanaugh's again. Uh, two pamphlets for instant heat in the kitchen. Here we go. Pick 
Get up. There you go. Good boy. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Okay, after I've read the other one. And then the newspaper. We need to read the newspaper as well. The newspaper is important. Da 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 da! Move your finger, dummy. Da 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 da! -da, -da. Okay, is that it? It's not really. Oh, Alright, whatever. Uh, Alright, so before we go outside, there's a newspaper on this table. Let's read it. Alienist Fontaine provides help to troubled vets. Those poor vets. What are our pets going to do without them? Vets, Lie pets, down. pet Make vets. Yourself comfortable. So, your friend of court. Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. He just injected you with something. What do you inject you with? I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. Occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. That was quick. Alright, let's not... There we go. Didn't cock up with the newspaper this time. And uh, now if we go outside, this is going to be the last thing we do before... We interview the woman. The woman of many. I just vibrated again. Why did it vibrate again? Why is it dropping frames? Oh, these. He, these are Give the killers. The oh, never mind. The killers. What they use to unstrap something. Right, uh, let's deal with are this. No the use leaving finished. the thing half finished. Why? It's not your job to do it, you mug. Uh, put you in there. That's where you're supposed to go. Let's just grab you. And you go in... No, you go in there. There you go. There you go. We're going, we're going well, making some progress. Alright, keep it going, keep it going. Uh, you go there? No. That can't be right. Where's this one go? There it goes. Yeah, I see, I was in the right place. Just, well, not in the right place. I just made a slight mistake. Look, there's a pipe missing. Oh, what a surprise. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Elaine One. Next time, we're going to interview the woman and see if she knows anything about her husband being a treacherous bastard. Well, not treacherous, but... Like, what's he doing in there? What are you doing? Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so next time we'll interview her and see what she has to say. And I will see you guys... Zzzzzzzzz then.